Hey everyone, uh, this is Vance Joel Torres. I'm here in my uh, in my home studio slash office. <laughs> so anyway, I'm doing some work, uh, and uh, as I was doing my work, um, something has uh, come up unexpectedly. Um, well, several weeks ago, I, I told you that I was going to have some exciting news to share. So things behind the scene have finally got um, finalized, and so I thought I'd go ahead and share this news with you. Um, Several weeks ago, I was contacted by a uh, one of the largest uh, Middle Eastern Christian TV networks called Isaac TV, and they're out of Pakistan. And I have a pretty huge following in Pakistan, as well as Iran, uh, Kuwait, the Emirates, uh, Cairo, Egypt, uh, uh, gosh, and other you know Saudi Arabia. And so I've had a, a big following in Muslim nations. And so um, they had asked about broadcasting and televising my programs and would like to uh, for my program to be kind of a voice to the Muslim nation. So that's really exciting. And I'm just humbled by that, that they would uh, see that. So it'd also be, uh, they'll also be televising Asia and other nations around the world. So it is exciting. Um, it, just, it was just one of those unexpected things and so in any case I worked behind the scenes and uh, they wanted me to put a, a promo uh, of introduction with them and kind of just explaining the uh, our ministry and partnership with their network and how it's going to work so I put one together and they really loved it and so they have officially launched that promo and has already begun to televise it uh, uh, to their audience to let them know that uh, will be a new program coming in and we'll be under their new network that they've developed called Dain TV so in any case uh, I thought I'd just share that with you um, and I thought I'd just share the clip that I sent them which is what they're using right now and so I thought I'd just share that with you some like uh, probably about two minutes if, if not a little under two minutes and so I thought I'd share that with you, and uh, once you see that, then I'm going to be back to talk with you just a bit. So without further ado, here's the clip. Greetings from J. Torres Ministries. I'm Avance Joel Torres. Hey, I've got some exciting news. We're going to be in partnership with a new innovative television live stream international broadcasting network called Dying TV. They're going to begin to broadcast and televise some of our programs throughout the Middle East and other nations around the world. How awesome is that? Programs like Word of Power, Thought for the Day, What's He Been Telling You Lately, which I co-host with Reverend Mike Bearden, and much more. This will allow us to expand, produce, and develop new programs, which, by the way, are already in the works. Together with Dain TV, we'll be able to reach more people for the kingdom of God, sharing the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. A gospel of salvation, restoration, healing, deliverance, sharing the hope and the light of Christ to a hurting world. Imagine giving people the opportunity to receive and confess Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Just as we see it in Romans 10, 9, that says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Acts 4, 12 says, There is salvation in no one else. There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. That name, Jesus. He's the only way to God. John 14, 6, it says, For I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes before the Father except through me. As we partnership with Daim TV, together are fulfilling the commission and the mandate found in Mark 16, 15, that says, And he said unto them, Go into all the world and preach the good news, the gospel. That's reaching people, changing lives. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Daim TV, for your faithfulness and your commitment to the gospel. Most importantly, your partnership to reaching the lost for the honor and glory of the kingdom of God. Well, this is Evans Joel Torres saying, we'll see you soon on Daim TV. Thank you, and God bless. Well, as you can see, um, we are officially getting launched out there, and... Uh, so I want to thank Daim TV for doing that and just really uh, allowing us to be a part of their network. So one of the things that we need to do now is, of course, now we got to raise the standards a bit. And so um, we're going to need some help in raising some funds to get the necessary 
equipment and upgraded software that we're going to need. And so to get started, we need a need to at least raise up $6,000 right now, which will help us get uh, the basic foundational things to get started. Um, so we need to upgrade a couple of uh, software. Uh, we need a new production computer. Um, I had, I have, I have one, uh, but it's, uh, I bought it back in 2005 and it was about $7,000 and it was a great, great computer. But now as you know, technology is always growing. So I had it rebuilt and refurbished, but the problem is it, it can't, uh, I can't put in the upgraded software in there because it's too old and outdated. But it's a great secondary uh, production computer that I can use for editing and, and everything else like that. And that's going to be a real a big need. And so we need uh, other equipment uh, that will attach to our production camera that will be able to allow us to do some live feeds uh, to interact with Daim TV and on location and interviews and stuff like that. So uh, that's something that we need. Um, broadcasting software I bought uh, over a year ago. And, and uh, I was able to save several hundred dollars on that. So I uh, got it when I was able to do and just held it. And now that we're coming to that place, is, uh, I already have that. So thank God for that. And I'll be able to use once we can update and get the systems uh, that we need. And uh, what we're looking for are monthly partners. Now... Uh, I never asked for donations or really push on stuff like that because at, at that time I didn't really feel it was uh, necessary nor I felt it was appropriate because I already had everything that I needed to get what I'm doing right now and it's held out pretty good. Um, but now that we're going to this next standard uh, in, a, in a place of TV, now that that's a whole other ball game. So any case, uh, I'm confident now to be able to ask, and I feel that there's a true validation to ask for what we need. And so, uh, and of course, I feel it's appropriate uh, to do that now. And so now, as I said, um, we're looking for those of you that would like to partner with us. So I'm coming to my friends and uh, family and pastors that know me and know um, the calling on my life and uh, that know that this ministry has been called by the Lord. And so if you can, that's what we like for you to do to help us uh, on a monthly basis. Now, here's why I'm asking for a monthly basis. We're asking for 10, 15, or $25, uh, not any more than that. Um, we feel that that's uh, pretty manageable for everyone that would like to do that because I know right now, you know, things are tight and not everybody can do that. So that's, we feel that that would be appropriate and of course, if you feel you want to give more, that's fine too. Now, if you feel you couldn't do that and you would like to give a one-time gift, that's, that would be awesome as well. So in any case, um, this ministry, what I have in, in vision, is not just about worrying about too much being, you know, TV, you know, uh, ministry. Uh, that's part of it, but that's not really the main priority or focus for me. What it is, uh, what those that give monthly, what we want to do is to be able to provide materials uh, like Bibles, print Bibles in le different languages that we can send to these uh, churches and congregations. You know, the pastors that I, that I get emails from and by the hundreds in all different nations is that, you know, they, these are still small villages and sometimes uh, two or three villages come together to build a church, you know, and become a congregation and then the person that's taken over, whether it be you know uh, a man or woman of God that that has filled that unction and that call of becoming the pastor, uh, you know, do all they can do to raise up new leaders and everything else. But the problem is, is that not all the leaders have Bibles, so we want to be able to be a ministry that can contribute to that. And of course, uh, uh, what you give will be going towards that as well. And of course, Sunday school materials. And as I said, we're writing up personally leadership materials that we can distribute so that we have control of that and be able to actually uh, distribute some of this material for them so that these pastors can properly raise up the, the leaders they need to be more effective and, and uh, uh, to preach the gospel and continue to preach it. So 
you know, I'm not really interested about the TV thing, and that's great. I know that that's part of the, uh, the, the, the way that God is asking us to go. But I want us to grow into a network of different areas of this ministry that will be a real whole ministry that we can actually be able to, to, to contribute physically and uh, to these churches and the congregations, you know. So uh, and that's my heart. And, of course, the, the ultimate is to become a humanitarian ministry as well and have that humanitarian services to be able to go uh, and physically help them in different areas, you know. And which then opens the door for a lot of partners that are giving to be able to go with us and, and be able to together experience the gospel live, you know, in life, you know. Uh, and so be able to really uh, see what God is doing and be a part of that. And, uh, you know, that whatever you give, God will accredit it to your spiritual account and bless you for that. You know, it's because we can't do it on, on our own. And uh, pretty much I'm kind of like a one-man band. I do right now. I'm grateful and, and just excited to have Reverend Mike Bearden, who joined me in 2013. And we've built some other programs. And so to together, that's what we're doing is developing some materials that we're going to uh, we want to develop and publish so that we can do that and uh, as I said be able to really give it to them without worrying about you know whether it's going to cost this or that you know uh, so we want to be able to be able to author these things and then distribute to to these pastors and leaders that that's needed out there and so um, uh, you know these pastors uh, since 2012 you know, these are people that are on the front lines. They're literally getting persecuted. And the repercussions sometimes is uh, devastating. And uh, I can't tell you how many emails I get and the stories that that these men and women of God will face and uh, even death itself. And so, um, I mean, you know, so to just to be a part of this and to help equip them, that's the whole point. The whole point what we're called is to equip people and not just equip them by a lot of, uh, by just word and sharing the word, but also interacting physically with them. And that's what we eventually want to be able to do. And so your giving will contribute to that network of building the different piece of this ministry, you know, as a whole. And so, you know, it's not us just giving them the Bible, it's you doing that. And it's coming together as a community in Acts 4 verses 33, I believe 32 to 35 talks about a community of believers that came with the apostles and they began the, the, to give uh, their resources and, and finances to them that they were able to help them to promote the gospel and that uh, and in that God began to give them an abundance of grace and and as well meet their needs and prosper them and so that's the way God works. And I said, like I said, God will accredit it, whatever you give. And those that get saved through the ministry that we do and everything we do, you get a, you get credit for that by God Himself. And so that's the reason why you know uh, it's not about us being the ones; it's about all of us coming together, fulfilling the commission that God has has put upon His church to fulfill. And so we get to come together with you. To fulfill that commission of the gospel and so uh, this is a great opportunity an opportunity that will eventually be able to open doors for us to even come together physically and go to a different country and actually do some of these things and uh, so I look forward for that time and um, in any case uh, that's what we need right now we need to raise up six thousand dollars and looking for monthly partners that will uh, be able to help us build the ministry and what God wants us to do and we can't do it alone it's coming together with other believers to fulfill that and uh, so we look forward and we uh, I look forward for you to to come alongside us and to be able to help us out so without uh, taking too much time that's pretty much what uh, we want to be able to do because of your prayers everyone out there that's praying for us this is why God opened the door because of your prayers and your support. So thank you so very much from the bottom of our hearts. We thank you. So in any case, 
that's pretty much it. Thank you, and God bless. Bye-bye.